Fourth chapter of Revelations. Then as I looked, I saw a door standing open in heaven, and the same voice I had heard before that sounded like a mighty trumpet blast spoke to me and said, Come up here, I will show you what must happen in the future. And instantly I was in spirit there in heaven and saw, oh, the glory of it, a throne and someone sitting on it. Great bursts of light flashed, from, flashed forth from him as from a glittering diamond or from a shining ruby and a rainbow glowing like an emerald encircled his throne. Twenty-four smaller thrones surrounded his with twenty-four elders sitting on them. All were clothed in white with golden crowns upon their heads. Lightning issued from the throne, and there were voices in the thunder. Directly in front of his throne were seven lighted lamps, representing the sevenfold Spirit of God. Spread out before it was a shiny crystal sea. Four living beings, dotted front and back with eyes, stood at the throne's four sides. The first of these living beings was in the form of a lion. The second looked like an ox. The third had the face of a man. And the fourth the form of an eagle, with wings spread out as though it in flight. Each of these living beings had six wings, and the central sections of their wings were covered with eyes. Day after day and night after night, they kept on saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, the one who was and is and is to come. And when the living beings gave glory and honor and thanks to the one sitting on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fell down before him and worshipped him, the eternal living one, and cast their crowns before the throne, singing, O Lord, you are worthy to receive the glory and the honor and the power for you have created all things. They were created and called into being by your act of will. That's the end of chapter 4.